Hello guys and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install and configure Minecraft Essentials and Group Manager after I showed you yesterday how to actually make the server in the first place. So Minecraft Essentials basically adds like new chat and loads and loads of new commands and Group Manager is like permission so it will allow you to stop people from building in certain well I would like stop people from building who who can access what commands just things like that so let's get started straight away uh, so you need to open up this like open up your web browser type in minecraft essentials and not like that what is it essentials minecraft yep okay and then you want to click on this and wait for it to load now down here you'll see that it says it does not work with 1.0.0 but it will it just it says that it's going to be very buggy but to be honest I've installed it and it works fine there's, you might have come across a few little bugs but there's no issues really so all you need to do is click out on this click on this essentials core download so open it can do tab okay and it downloads just like that really 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 quickly and so you want to click show in folder and it will be in your downloads folder so you want to right click on that and click extract all and extract right and it's opened up this like so there's a non non compressed folder now you want to copy uh, copy them all so that's set, that's normal essentials, essential chat, essential form and whatever so then you want to go to wherever you saved your server yesterday after doing that or today if you're watching it in advance however that works okay then you want to go to your plugins folder in your server and paste them all right you then want to go back and get group manager so click on it again and it'll see it'll download there we go it's downloaded then you want to do it again show in folder then right click on it extract all extract then you don't want group bridge you only want group manager so copy that then go onto your plugins folder and paste it in okay so then you have all of your files that you're going to need so we can close down that and that and that for now we'll all need it back now close down that don't save close down that okay so they're all there now you want to click on your run.bat in my case it's called launcher to be honest I'm going to change it so it doesn't confuse anyone Okay, so there's our run.bat file. I'm going to run it. There you go. Now you see it will start to load up. There we go. Group manager enabled. And essentials protect and everything else is enabled. So you want to open up your Minecraft. And I want to like that. Look at the advertising. It's a bit bad, really. And wait for it. And wait for it. Okay, then multiplayer, then yep, click on your server. Okay, so you'll see here, let's just do, yeah, right, you see, I'm set as the default account. So basically, look, I won't be able to build, it'll just, everything will be set up. Uh, I'll only have access to these commands, which is help, help up, list, message of the day, rules, and spawn. Now, the way to edit that, so let's just disconnect from that. You will need to download Notepad++. You can do it in normal Notepad, but it's so, so hard. And you'll get it wrong, most likely, and it won't work. So, download Notepad++, then go on it. So then open. Then you need to find your Minecraft server folder. So mine's on the desktop. Then it's in something called Tutorial Server. Then Plugins. Then go on Group Manager, then Worlds, then World. So like, it's the, it'll be the name of your world. So you go on Worlds and then the name of your world. Right. Then you want to open up Groups and open up Users. So as you'll see, I'm not in there. So it's put me on the default account, which you're automatically set to because it says they're default true, and it's called the default account these are just the makers that are currently there so 
you want to get rid of the permissions that are already there and you want to get rid of the inheritance I'll explain all that in a minute now as you can see build is on false so they don't have access to any of that so they don't have access to building so you want to go on to your browser type in uh, essentials command reference and they'll come up now you want to go on this as you can see here as all the commands that essentials has so for example let's just go down to one that you actually recognize most likely time so do you want the default account to be able to change time no I don't so we'll go down to something like message of the day do you want them to be able to use message of the day so that's slash MOTD isn't it so yes we do want them to be able to use message of the day so you do space 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 then that you want it all to be in line so that it's easy to use so permissions it is called essentials dot MOTD and as you'll see here so it tells you that so you just click on one and it'll tell you what the permission is that you need to input so we're giving them access to essentials dot MOTD we'll give them right you can't use tab on this bit so you have to do space over space using tab will make it not work basically uh, so then essentials dot help that's giving them access to the slash help command so what else do we want them to be able to access I don't know mm, weather yeah we'll let them change the weather so you go down again and type in essentials dot weather that will give them access to the weather command so slash weather storm or something like that or slash weather sun uh, one we'll do one more and we'll make that command hmm what command should we let them have hmm slash rules there we go okay so you um, essentials dot rules there you go now you click save all and then so you want to stop the server to stop the server I never told you this yesterday you need, just need to type in stop like that and that's it okay so then run the server with the run dot bat file which are in the description of yesterday's video if you couldn't work out how to do the run dot bat file then the multiplayer you want to go on it join server okay now if I do slash help you see the commands that I have they're the commands I just gave myself so that was measure the day weather rules and help so do slash weather sunny the weather is set to sun in your world although it's I can't change the time but look it stops snowing and it's actually sunny if it was daytime it would be anyway it's clear skies okay now t t yes stop yes okay now to put yourself as a user actually no we'll go to that in a minute okay so build is on false on that I am not allowed to build and it's also a default account it will if you're not an, if you're not on this user's file it'll put you as default so it stops any griefing and stuff like that so we want to get rid of the inheritance now the inheritance will basically means that it will inherit all of these commands that are here and then you can put in the extra commands that you want the builder to have over the default account so you do inheritance uh, hold on yep so space 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 dash default now it has all of those commands and I can then give it more here so we want to go to permissions and I will give it the slash kill command which is essentials dot kill I'll also give it the time command so essentials dot time it's just that simple literally uh, what else should I give it I'll give it the game mode command which is essentials dot game mode that's yeah, that's all I'll give it so it'll have all of those commands and then it'll have those extra commands so basically I'll save and go on to users 
then I'll make myself a user. These are just, we'll get rid of those users so it doesn't get confusing. Oh, hold on. I've just messed it up. Right, get rid of that user first. Right, so I'll change it to my name, so it's just your Minecraft username, which mine is Michael Wilson 94 Now, I want to change it, because this group that I just named is called Builder, and obviously the default is full, so they won't be Builder when they first log in for the very, very first time. So the default name is Builder. So I want to put myself in the group Builder. So save all. Server stop. Okay, so I want to run the server, put the run.bat file, wait for it to load. Okay, multiplayer Minecraft server. As you'll see, my name is Aaron Green. Uh, so then let's do slash help, and I, I have all the commands to what I just gave myself, which was, web, uh, which was time and kill, and game mode. So I can now do slash game mode, Michael Wilson 94 one. I now have a creative game mode. Now, look, if I try and access a command that I don't have, such as slash tp, I don't have access to that command because I didn't give myself access. Look, and it'll put a warning there, was denied access to a command in the server log. Uh, so, other than that, it's that simple. Now, I will show you, if you want, for example, it to say here, just like there, it'll have a bracket and then builder or member and then that so I'm actually going to put myself in the owners group now the owners group has all permissions and that is shown by doing so in the permissions you do again like the space 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 then dash then the uh, I don't even know what they're called to be honest I don't know apostrophe, apostrophes I think then star then apostrophe if that's what it is uh, okay so I'm going to put myself in the owner group and then, right, in the prefix, this is the colour. You can find the colours out online or just experiment by going like and 3, and 6, and 8, whatever. Okay, so I'll put myself as, yeah, I've already put myself in the owner in the users file here. And here, I will write in what I want to be called, which is the owner. And then save all, just like that. Stop the server, because we need to refresh the server. You can do it with a command, but I prefer just to run it so it's a brand new copy of the server. Okay, so just wait for it all to load up. Then multiplayer. Then personal server. As you'll see there, owner in brackets next to my name. And slash help. I have access to all all 16 commands, uh, all 16 pages of commands. So slash help free. All of that basically. Access to everything. So you only want to set the owners to people that you can really, really trust. Yeah, so you can find all the permissions that you want to add. You've got absolutely loads. You've got 103 commands that you can put in and set to different users. So you've got the moderator. Just make sure, really, I think you should get rid of the inheritance. But always remember to put in the inheritance of the person above. But get, in, get, get rid of these because they're like preset commands that it's going to give you. You don't want them, really. So other than that, it's that easy. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to customise like world edit and things. One more thing before I do go, I'll show you how to change essentials, like configure essentials. So just close. Okay. Uh, so you want to open up Notepad again. You then want to open up. So go back to your file with the plugins. In, like in your so it's server, then plugins. Right, then you want to go to Essentials and open up the config file, which you'll see here. So, for example, if you want to turn off fire spread, search for the word fire. And then just go, so true actually means fire spread is off. False will mean that it's on. So, fire spread is now on. Uh, and then, like for example, you can, there's so many options that you can customise here. You can like change, so currently you're allowed to spawn chickens, cows, creepers and everything like that. You're not allowed to spawn mon uh, not monster, you're not allowed to spawn a ghast or a slime. That's the only thing that you're not allowed to spawn. So by changing that to false, you're now allowed to spawn a slime.
but obviously you've got to have spawn slash spawn or essentials dot spawn mob in the users f uh, in the groups file so that they're actually allowed to access that command it's so really it's really really easy to use you get you'll get used to it in like minutes I imagine if you have any issues just contact me on YouTube I will respond as soon as I can as soon as I see it really and I'll help you get it all set up okay so I hope you enjoyed this world edit tutorial should be coming tomorrow and if there's any other plugins that you want me to teach you how to install and configure just tell me and I'll do a tutorial on it okay uh, adios